Hey fam bam, this is a simple video to show you all how we prepare when we're getting ready for a trip. I always use this list right here that helps me go down the line of everything that I need to pack up and it, you know, just shows me everything. Christian setting off his ventilator as I'm trying to record. Go figure. <laughs> but that's life, y'all. But, um, yeah. So, in this whole video, I'll just show you all, like, my tips and my tricks that make life a whole lot easier while we're traveling and while we're packing. And I hope this helps some special needs families who love to travel with their babies. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Bye. Hey, fam fam, how y'all doing? It is late tonight, so I'm kind of being quiet. Send my sorta. But I wanted y'all to see how I go from packing up all of our gear <laughs> that we travel with um, to how we transition it to the hotel. So I recorded footage from our weekend getaway, and I'm gonna do a one of those and then you'll be there at the setup so um here's our suction machine she see Christian is up um there's his ventilator there's his heater his basket um his water bag his feeding bag feeding pump feeding pole and food um nebulizer um, let's see. We keep our diapers and our powder and such containers there, wipes. So these collapsible bins are what I use to travel with. And as you see, I've just packed our necessities in them. So we I still have not packed. <laughs> but um such inculus feeding bag. Um hand sanitizer and as you see we had a brand new one too um i keep um the big disinfectant spray and the small disinfectant for the bathroom um got diapers in there we got the wipes we got um the bacterial powder um, since it was an overnight weekend, I just packed this milk in there instead of taking the case as I usually do. Um, Lysol wipes, regular baby powder, and how innovative. Ezra, look at there. Ezra poked a hole in the powder. So that's how we've been using it out of the side. <laughs> yeah, boy genius? I think not. Um, let's see what else. Um, keep the extra syringes for his feeding. We keep the extra HMEs for his trach. That's his um, travel humidifier chamber. Um, if y'all have noticed, Christian, he's had socks on his arms that keeps his hands out of his mouth. Like that. Say hi, <laughs> so we keep extra socks extra pairs of socks um we take a box of the saline because you never know how dry he's gonna be or how much he's gonna need um suctioning so we always keep those and i actually travel with five bags of these at a time but i keep them in the undertow in the car um and i packed his clothes in there also, since it was just a one night. Um, and then after all of his stuff is packed, I have my toiletries, my favorite cashmere glue. Um, deodorant, my Mitchum, I'm old school, y'all. It's the only deodorant that doesn't break me out, so don't judge me. <laughs> we have his um, bubble bath. Um, his lotion is, yeah. His lotion is under the bed. Oh, and we have gloves that we keep in there as well. So, doing that makes it so convenient 
and as you see it has like the little handles so just pick it up and go and they stack so it just works out perfectly and then um when i have people with me who play cards like we had a whole plan to play cards this weekend so i took all the cards i took the regular bicycle cards i took my black uno cards i took my phase 10 cards like we were gonna be ready well we didn't realize it was uab's graduation so we ended up waiting at the restaurant for about two and a half hours and when we got in everybody was tired everybody was moody <laughs> not really moody but i say moody as in ready to get to bed moody so when we got back to the hotel y'all know it's like an ordeal for me to unpack the boys pack up the boys and the ladies helped me carry the stuff in and have they not like i would have had to make three or four trips and the hotel had no parking so we had to literally park in the loading area and they knew not to mess with us because <laughs> there were no parks so um that's what we did but um i also another thing that i wanted to mention i always take our own power bar it makes life so much easier so much simpler and so much convenient so, so much more convenient and because christian has like a real insensitivity and does not really tolerate heat well i was looking for it. ezra had it ain't no telling what he did with it because when i tell that kid to clean up everything disappears but um i just had it i'm looking for it but um christian has like um and i bought it when we had gone to um Disney World for his Make-A-Wish trip. I don't see what he did with him, but um, he has a, a fan that you hang around his neck that keeps him cool. And um, yeah, I don't know what Ezra did with it. I'll just ask him in the morning when he wakes up. But I wanted to also show you all like, I've, um, I've gotten really good at like downsizing which is why the collapsible bins came into play. Um, I always keep a case of water in the car for drinking purposes. And then I always have to take with me. Oh, as you see, I kept this so that I can show y'all. We always travel with a gallon of distilled water for his humidified chamber. And I was yesterday years old. Well, Saturday day years old. <laughs> When I realized that people drink distilled water. Yeah, people drink distilled water. And I was like, no, don't drink the distilled water. And they were like, it's okay to drink distilled water. I'm like, say what now? Yeah, so you learn something new every day. Um, let's see. So with Christian's go bag, um, I'm gonna run through what we have to take. So, this bag right here, the stars one, we use for his um, humidified chamber for the gallon of water, for his nebulizer, and the tubing for the humidified chamber for the heater. This right here, that's his medicine bag. So, then we have those two bags, and then his ventilator has its own bag. And then we take a bin, and then I've learned how to be minimalistic and take a little suitcase. And then I'm gonna take y'all to the hallway because it was another weather day. We had to utilize the boys' helmets today. So, take a walk with me. ventilator bag or 
Oh, excuse me. The nebulizer bag. I still didn't say that right. <laughs> that is a suction machine bag, is what I'm trying to say. That's the nebulizer, and that is his go bag. And as you all see in the go bag, we have his amber bag to give him rescue rest if he needs it. And this is, um, I keep extra supplies, an extra swivel, extra hand sanitizer, uh, Zopinex, saline, like all his extras. And this right here, the black and white bags are from is 31 his supply bag that we use that has his extra traits in it um my labels have fallen off over the years but as you see his traits in there little suckers his uh, medicines hmes just everything that we need rescue humidifiers everything so this always stays with Christian and I have this one in here because we also have beside the bed an emergency an emergency setup and as y'all see there's another bin <laughs> that we keep and we keep this off of the bedroom for when we have to hunker down in our hallway as you see this is our hallway that we have hunkered down in this is our safe place that we come to when it storms. Um, well, here is one of Christian's hands. But that's still not the one. Links to all of these products will be listed in the description box. But, um, yeah. So, and then there's another bag. That's my personal purse. And that's pretty much how we roll. So, this was just um, a quick informative video of everything that has to come with us when we travel. And that still isn't everything. I have a lot more stuff packed in the car. So, if you see me <laughs> out and about with my boys, just know it's not an easy task. It's not an easy feat. Um... I've learned how to do it. I've learned over the years how to downsize, how to shrink, and um, just travel as minimalistically as I possibly can. Because one of the biggest mistakes that I made is thinking that we had to travel with that big monstrosity right there. Um, no. You utilize what you have, which you all will see in the next video. Um, instead of having to take that big old pole, which is heavy, and which would take up a lot of space in our trunk, in our van, we used what we have, i.e. the table stands at the hotels, the tables at the hotels. And I, I felt like, duh, once I figured it out, I was like, we could have been doing this a long time ago. So, it's been like one of those things you live and you learn. And I'm thankful that we have learned. I say we, me. Um, I say we because my tribe, my village, they helped me come up with things to utilize my space. Um like Tammy, Christian's nurse. She came up with the idea for the bins. And they work perfectly. And they fit down inside the trunk. Um, they sit flat. If you got a bag up underneath, they sit on top of the bag. And then you can still stack stuff on them. I mean, yeah. We just make it work. And another tip that we use is um, we always utilize the space in our undertow that's underneath the seats and everything pack everything you possibly can in there 
um, we've eliminated suitcases by rolling up our clothes and packing them in the undertow on top of the cans of milk and the supplies and necessities that we need, like um, Christian's cannulas, not cannulas, canisters that we use for his suction machine. Put underwear in those, put shoes in those, put the boy's shirts in those, put your supplies in those. You'd be amazed how much stuff you can fit in that undertow. <laughs> I showed her son um, how much room we had in the undertow, and he was like, golly. I was like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I keep blankets under there um, in case we have an emergency. You never know. I keep two blankets in there. I keep um, bottled water in there. I keep soap in there like necessities that you would never even think that you would need but you have them so that's one of my biggest tips um let's see oh we have um you see the which way am i going here <laughs> you see the pole right there we have a collapsible pole as well that um folds out um but it has gone through the ringer. It's bent, it's been broken, and it's pretty bad to the point where we have to use a hanger. <laughs> we have to use a hanger in the top of it and hang everything on the hanger instead of um, using the hooks because the little hook thing broke. So that's one of those innovative tools and tips that I have as well. So it's it's been a learning experience and it's been a journey and I'm so thankful that I'm able to be quick and be swift and think on my toes and I can pack a van. I can pack a van, y'all. <laughs> the first time that my mom was like, well, I'm gonna let you do it. I said, thank you. We had so much more space left in the van. I was like, okay. I'm officially the van packer upper because clearly I don't know what y'all been doing, <laughs> but I got this. So that's how it started because I was so proud of being able to pack the van and eliminate so many bags and eliminate so much unused space that if we wanted to buy something, we could and bring it back without it sitting on top of pers people, the persons or whomever, and sitting up under your leg where you have to use it as a mandatory leg rest. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, those are my tips. Um, I actually, when we travel as well, I'll show y'all that one day, um, how I set up Christian's continuous feeding in the van. So, I mean, I have a lot of tips. I, when I travel with Christian, this was my first trip um, with Christian and Ezra. But when I usually travel with um, just Christian to a doctor's appointment to Birmingham, I do it like I did um, when I had Christian and Ezra this weekend. I put his, um, I'm drawing a blank, I put his O2 sat monitor in the passenger window and catty corner it towards me where I can see and run the cords back to his toe where I can keep an eye on his respirations, not his respirations, Lord have mercy, his heart rate and his O2, his stats the whole time I'm riding. And we have a box where we can plug in his ventilator and plug in his um, O2 set monitor while I ride and it's so convenient I love it and that's another thing that I would recommend um, I don't think they're too expensive but it's a necessity and I would highly recommend that for parents who have children on equipment so let's see what else I think that's all for now y'all yeah if y'all have um, 
any questions if y'all have any tips to add please feel free to drop them below in the comment section i'm always open to suggestions i'm always open to your opinions but don't get rude please don't get rude um you know we're not perfect we live and we learn and i'm just trying to be the best mama i can be and do this thing with my boys like no limitations no limits at all sky's the limit you know so i will continue to post these videos and if y'all have anything to add just let me know thank y'all love y'all always be here for you peace <laughs> So in this final clip, this is my hotel setup that I was telling you all about. I have everything set up that we took for our weekend excursion, and here it is. So this is how we do a setup at a hotel when we travel. As you see, I used the closet hanger. I used the lamp to hang up his water bag which is empty that I'm about to turn off his milk bag we use a travel pole that we got off the offer up for ten dollars that has since broke and it's been in business and action for six years this is the little desk and usually I have my own power bar but I did not bring it this time but that's okay I have his humidifier I have his ventilator I have our Lysol, I have the suction machine on the floor, and then I have Christian, and then I usually just pull his wheelchair right beside us with his go bag, and I use that to pull up his medicines, his nebulizer machine, and this is how we roll. Hi. Oh yeah, that's how we roll, huh? Hi. Oh yeah. You tell him bye? Oh yeah. I love you. Oh yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Y'all have a good day.